If you're looking to buy into a particular brand of power tools, want to make sure you've got everything you need for repairs around the house, or you just like tools, this video is for you. We're doing this because many of our viewers have asked us, how do you build a basic tool set? Where do you start? We're going to start with the tools we've got right on the table. But before we do that, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help us here at Pro Tool Reviews. Like I said, we're going to start with cordless tools. Not to recommend the best brand for power tools like we do in some of our other videos, but to tell you the types of power tools that you should probably have in your basic tool kit. The drill forms the core of your arsenal. After you find what brand you like, consider a kit that includes additional tools to get you squared away on a single battery platform. Make sure it includes at least an impact driver for fastening and a circular saw for general cuts in wood. You could also look into buying a reciprocating saw for any demo projects or rough cutting that you may need to do at home or on the job site. We consider these to be the four core tools that most homeowners and definitely every pro should have in their toolbox. When it comes to power tools, Milwaukee, DeWalt, Makita, Flex, and Metabo HPT are just some of the professional brands that we trust. For budget-minded pros, add rigid and cobalt tools to your list. And finally, for DIYers and value-conscious shoppers, Ryobi One Plus HP, Skill, Craftsman, and even Heart tools from Walmart make for some decent power tools if you don't plan to use them all day, every day. Next up is a durable screwdriver set. A good starter screwdriver set comes with multiple sizes of both slotted and Phillips head types as a minimum. You also probably want to include Torx, square, and even multi-tip type screwdrivers as well because if you need them, you need them. A good set of screwdrivers lets you work on just about anything. I'm always reaching for a screwdriver for something. You don't have to necessarily have the best screwdriver set, but a basic kit from anyone should serve you well. If you're in the market for a quality screwdriver set, you can't go wrong with the Worth Zebra line. Gear Wrench and Weha also make great tools. And if you're not looking to spend top of the line money, try Craftsman and DeWalt. We can't really create a guide about how to build a basic tool set without including a couple good hammers. If you want to buy just one hammer, go with the best framing hammer you can afford. A basic hammer works, but we prefer something around 19 to 22 ounces as a general rule. Look for a smooth-faced hammer with a straight claw. Generally, we recommend titanium hammers over steel if you plan to swing one a lot, like if it's your job. But if we're keeping it basic, a steel hammer is going to do you just fine. If you want a reliable hammer that's going to last for years, go with Stiletto, Boss, Martinez, or Daluge. But for a basic hammer, you can't go wrong with Estwing, Stanley, and Vaughn. These work great if you just need something for around the house or occasional use. Your impact driver and your drill aren't going to get you far without a good set of drilling and driving bits. You definitely want a small basic drill bit kit. The type of bits you should get have to do with what you intend to drill. Black oxide works on soft metals and wood, titanium coated bits are a nice step up, and cobalt bits represent the higher end and they're designed for harder metals. For driver bits, you've got an easier time. Grab some magnetic bits for driving various fasteners. It also helps to have a couple of extenders to get in those hard to reach areas. Trust me, this can really save you some time. On the top end, we really like the Makita XPS impact driver bits. Realistically speaking though, you can grab cheaper base kits from the likes of Bosch, Ryobi, or Craftsman Tools. Next, we want to expand your hand tool collection and make sure that you've got everything you need for those routine jobs around the house, maintenance tasks, even DIY projects. An adjustable wrench definitely qualifies as one of those handy tools that you need in any basic tool set. It lets you grab onto various sizes of bolts and nuts. If you're going to buy one, look for a medium-sized model. We particularly like Milwaukee's adjustable wrenches, but you can find cheaper tools from Craftsman, Cobalt, and some house brands like Husky. When it comes to pliers, there are three different types that we'd suggest having handy. Wire or side cutting pliers, needle nose pliers, and lock jaw pliers. Okay, four, because you have to have a decent set of slip joints. When you need this tool, nothing else works as a substitute. Moving on, everybody needs a good set of Allen wrenches. You know, there's nothing worse than putting together a piece of IKEA furniture. Nothing. Except maybe trying to do it using their tools. Pros may opt for a nice set of T-handle Allen wrenches, but we honestly like the folding style sets. They're more compact and you can easily toss them into your tool bag. When it comes to hand tools, feel free to mix and match brands. Hand tool manufacturers all have their specialties and strengths and you want to take advantage of those. With that said, Milwaukee, Craftsman, Klein, Crescent, Gear Wrench, Channel Lock, Knipix, all those and more are some of the most common brands we find ourselves reaching for when we need a hand tool. Working under the hood or after dark out in the yard, you're going to want a good headlamp, maybe a good work light. With lithium ion batteries becoming more powerful and prevalent, we love small work lights or task lights that illuminate your immediate work area, and they really have decent runtime now. However, if you don't opt for a rechargeable model, be sure to bring along extra batteries. 
Headlamps stay with you or on you while you work, making them indispensable for working inside cabinets, in crawl spaces, or anywhere you need light directly in front of you. Milwaukee, DeWalt, and Klein have some reliable pro quality brands in the job site lighting sector, and you can find inexpensive models from Lightband, Husky, and Coast. When building out a basic tool set, it also helps to get some reliable layout, measurement, and cutting tools. We've also got to include some levels in our set. The most convenient size is a torpedo level. This compact level easily fits inside most toolboxes or tool bags. Some are magnetic, and that can be a good thing or a bad thing depending upon your application. We tend to prefer them. We recommend looking for a knife that utilizes common and easy to replace blades. Both folding and standard styles work just fine. Our favorite remains the Milwaukee Fastback Utility Knives, mostly because you can carry it with you anywhere. Everybody needs a tape measure. A 16-foot tape makes for a great start, and honestly, it's our favorite for its size. If you only want to buy one, though, get a 25-foot compact model to cover those longer distances. We like the Stanley Fat Max tape measure, as well as the Milwaukee Wide Blade. No matter what anyone tells you, tapes are a consumable item. If you do a lot of work, expect to replace them regularly. Even though it's last on our list, safety always comes third first. So here's a couple safety-centric products that you should have around your job site or home. A first aid kit always makes good sense to have around, even if you're not fixing things. You can find a whole host of first aid kits on Amazon. They include all types of bandages, alcohol pads, ointments. Some even include mild pain relief tablets for headaches and muscle pain. Always have tinted and non-tinted safety glasses handy. Note, while sunglasses might help deflect objects from your eyes, safety glasses come with a rating specifically to ensure objects at speed don't penetrate the lens. Find some that are comfortable and that fit your face well. And this is one area where function should win out over form. Work gloves provide anything from knuckle and hand protection to cut protection. Many now feature fingertips that let you use your smartphone without having to take them off. Others include an integrated sweat wipe. One last thing that you don't want to miss, go ahead and grab a good 50 foot extension cord or two. We actually prefer a couple 50 foot cords over a single 100 foot cord due to how difficult longer cords are to manage. Spend the few extra dollars and get extra cords that use 12 gauge or 12 AWG wire. Well, there's our list for everything you need for a basic toolkit. Now, all the retailers we talked about and all those links are going to be in the description below. And go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you found something on it that was helpful for you. Now, is there anything we missed? If so, leave a comment and let us know. Share in particular any tool that you absolutely can't live without. And subscribe to our channel for more head-to-head -head reviews and individual product reviews that we'll do throughout the year. And as always, thanks for watching.